All right, legends, let's analyze some teams heading into round nine. We've got 20 to go through. Hope I can help yours out. And if I don't, you should be able to get a lot out of this video anyway. We're gonna start with the Bunda boys and they're coming in at 508 overall rank, which is lovely to, uh, to kick off this one here. We've got 24 trades remaining, 59 in the bank. The chat here is you might trade out Nanai and Randall, even though they did well. I'd like to get in Josh Jackson or Tohu, Tohu uh, but I don't, I don't know any cashies to get in this week. Yeah, and that's probably the issue. Obviously, wait wait till team list, but it doesn't sound like there's going to be many coming in. You um, yeah, obviously currently have Cola and yeah, Etrick Lee with his 11, unfortunately. But um, yeah, there's really no one else to, to pick up at the moment. So if something comes up in team list, then that could be a good idea to maybe do that. But just remember with Josh Jackson, guys, that... He's coming off COVID and he might not get the full 80 minutes and, and go back to those scores that he did in the first part of the year. And then when he gets that 80 minutes again, then he could be at that great option. So just be aware of that, that it might be ideal just to hold uh, and not trade this week, especially with Randall's 50. And obviously Nanai had a, had a nice a nice 46 as well. But yeah, obviously the the, the pain has thing. It looks, sounds like he might be okay. It just, you know, he got enough. He had enough minutes in that game and obviously aggravated. It's one of those things, just a pain thing. And it's... It's just going to keep aggravating uh, until he re really rests it for a long time. And are they going to do that? We'll obviously find out over the next few days and next few weeks anyway. And then with Harris, he's you know not due back for another couple of weeks. So just wait for him as well. But this team, other than that, like, you know, pretty much the, the interchanges that you, you're pretty happy with. The starting squad, you know, if Jeremiah can continue to do well, um, yeah, like, like he did last week in, in a, an aside that's was pretty dominant with the Cowboys and that's sweet. You've got Papali, you've got Grant there, you've got, you know, DCA with Cleary. I think you can get away with that squad, obviously with Cola there uh, in the in the center. So the team's not too bad. With 24 trades, you could probably hold this week unless something you know, ridiculous comes up in that first team list. All right, the Scum Boys. We're ranked 1854, which is not too bad as well. Last trade to Lodge and give us a hand, you legend. Yeah, I'm here, mate. Don't you worry. Possible options. Any combo of Schneider, King, or Baker to a gun and a cheapie or two average. So in terms of your cheapies, I think you just have too many at the moment to, to bring in another real cheap guy with Baker not scoring well last week. He's been going fairly solidly before that. Uh, we got David Moale, who's not scoring you know, well for you. We've got Colo starting to make a little bit of cash, but if you brought in another now, especially when there's no one that's really clear as an option, I would suggest just holding off on that. Um, and same thing with Hastings. If you bring in, you know, making two trades to go Hastings and a cheapie, again, I wouldn't be, you know, going for that one. Mus Musgrove there, is, he's always been one of those guys. If you look at the last few years, he's been someone that will come in and have a few good games and everyone thinks he's a cash cow and then he goes back to, you know, getting dropped or, or something like that. So... I personally wouldn't be picking him. I just don't, I just think there's a fair bit of risk there, but up to you on that one. And just to Tavanga make his break break even against the Sharks, I think he'll be fine. So um, just a little bit of a lower game for him. I think he'll do better than that. So you know, take that as you will. In terms of your team, I think you're pretty solid. You know, you've got Jerome Hughes, which I think is a, uh, a really good hold heading into the origin period. And then really you could play any one of those five there on your interchange and do just fine. So yeah, I think the team's looking solid, man. Obviously you brought in Jazz last week and... He should improve on that score. All right, so Andrew Longjohn's ranked 535, which is lovely there. King a hold to round 13. I think you may as well by this point. You know, he's, he's scoring well enough to to be able to do that. Maxi, um, yeah, he scores around that high 30s, you know, up until that point. He's not really going to lose any cash for you. So, you know, if he can get the odd couple of games with a few offloads and stuff, he'll get in the 40s and it'll be fine. Uh, so thoughts on how the team's shaping, how many trades I should have. Um, for round 13, I imagine that was meant to be said. So if we're coming to round nine, guys, if you, I reckon if you can go one a week, nine, 10, 11, 12, yeah, with, with 24 there, if you can sit around that 18 to 22 mark, even six, even 17 might be okay. Um, if you kind of set up really well for that 13 and don't have to trade too much in that point. Other than that, anything lower, I think you're gonna really hurt yourself heading into, you know, Round 13 is an important buy round, but also round 17 is going to be really important as well. If you're setting yourself team up, your team up for that one, and then you can really you know, improve heading into round 18 and 19 and have a really, really good team from there heading into the, the back end of the season. So that's uh, some important things to think about um, with, with trades and, and how to work them over that section there. Uh, Schneider, I think, is definitely a hold at this point. Jones a sell around 13. Yeah, potentially. He's still got a probably 100K to make if he continues to score like this. He's very, very solid on the defensive end. So I can't see him going, uh, having a score in like the 25 mark if he's playing big minutes. 
Uh, and I think he should continue to play those bigger minutes. He's been one of their solid guys that hasn't been missing any tackles in a team that's really been struggling. So that's that. Uh, yeah, Brownie, potentially a sell if you want to, but you know, he could be good over the origin period as well, which I spoke about in a previous video. Completely up to you. Penasini could potentially be a keeper. He's up to 515 now, which is really nice. He's made um, yeah, made plenty of cash over the last few, you know, a bunch of weeks, which is awesome. Uh, thoughts on Mann and Thompson to Hastings and Elliott. Yeah, so we'll talk, speak about Elliott in a, in a future video, but he's someone at a cheaper price point that could be decent, and Hastings is, is putting up keeper level scores. Uh, and the team's going a little bit better, and he's really the, the focal point in that one and has, you know, got back and, you know, working through the gears now, heading back, you know, now that he's back in the NRL. Uh, he's been playing, playing really well. So that's that on the long johns. You know, team other than that is looking pretty good, man. It's just that Brown thing is a bit of an issue and hopefully Talakai can come out and dominate for you. I want to pop this in. It's going to be very hard to put on the screen, but I like that uh, what they've done there. Put all their trades in on the right, um, which is really fun to see. So Brandon Smith and, and, and Cola out. So, you know, that, that tell, tell it's our one. Probably not ideal considering we're looking to get him back in, but... Um, trading in, you know, Jeremiah and Tommy Gilbert worked out pretty solidly. Bringing in Hines and Starling was also good early on. Trade out for Feeder, which probably worked out best in the end, um, and jumped off Bullimore really quickly. The Jones and, you know, Stephen Crichton, bringing them in around four. Obviously, not starting with Stephen was a, a tough one, but, you know, trading out Penasini and Nofaluma, so it didn't work out in the end with that one. You know, Nof has made a fair bit of cash, sort of around six, seven, eight onwards. Um, Birdie and Gilbert, so yeah, just that in and out, yeah, trading in Gilbert round two, trading him out in round five is a bit of an issue. Um, you know, just that constant double trades every week, unfortunately, so that's that. Uh, bringing in Taylor May obviously worked out. You know, Ola Kawatu in there, didn't work out too well. Cotter, um, Cleary and eventually was good. And, and Talakai obviously brought in Kohler back in uh, again in round eight, so very interesting there. Um, yeah, and just trading out Randall for that one there when, when he was in a decent position, obviously didn't work out. So it shows the you know, the, pay, the patience that you can have uh, can work, and sometimes the, the rage trading doesn't work. So, yeah, it, it's, it swings around abouts, right? Um, yes, yeah, so, welcome back. Yes, exactly. You know, this person, thankfully, held Teddy the whole time, and he comes in and, and helps you out, which is great. So, start behind the eight ball this season, made some good calls, some bad ones. Yeah, exactly. That's right. What's what we went through there, that um, chasing a few points, missed out on a few of the cheapies, which is, you know, it's good to just try and fix that in the first couple of weeks for sure. Um, yeah, and finally doing well for some pods. Obviously, Talakai in, you know, last week wasn't amazing, but, you know, things like Ruben Cotter obviously paid off this week, which is great. Having DCE in that whole time was good, getting clear a few weeks ago. Um, and Ted's almost like a bit of a pod now as well, until Pelotto was a, was a cool uh, trade in round seven, got a nice 46 out of him there. Uh, 111k in the bank and 18 trades. That's the thing, just too many trades used, unfortunately. I think you've got to hold at this point. There's really no one to, to trade out. I think that's the important part for you. But yeah, thanks for that. I thought, um, yeah, definitely. I thought reviewing trades would be good learning for, too for people. Happy little mics at round four outs. What was round four? Yeah, not from Penn. Yeah, exactly what I was talking about. Um, yeah, well done with Tui over, over Taff. It worked out well. Um, faith in Walter's base. Yeah, sweet. Good stuff. Thanks for that. Appreciate that one there. Uh, team five, I've got 743 overall rank, 20 trades remaining, 101 in the bank for my house hurts. <laughs> These puns are getting better and better. Low on trades, so looking for round 13 options so I can hold later or should I hold this week? I would look at this team and say that you would, should be holding. You know, you've got enough guys that are playing well enough. You can you can stick with the Ilias and, and hope that he continues to get better as a player. Um Yeah, I probably wouldn't trade out house to be honest. It's not really worth it. Uh, unless we get some definitive answers as to what's going to happen with him, I think that we need to hold him. Uh, yeah, try not to captain him potentially. You know, a few other guys that we could do. And obviously not this team, but it's in general. If you don't have a Cleary, there's obviously other guys at the Grands, the Papali Easy, could probably captain before him. But yeah, I'd be holding. Penasini's a hold. Um, yeah, that's the issue, guys, with the bottom three emergencies you spoke about. They aren't doing very well. And that's what happens sometimes when you bring in the cheapies that aren't clear cash cows and you're like oh no i've just got to get him i've got to get the cheapie in to bring in a gun and sometimes it doesn't work out and this is this is one of those cases unfortunately uh if brown's in the centers again just straight 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 trade him to hastings or do it even if he's back at five eight i think if he's back at six guys you have to hold on to him he's someone that's going to play a major role over the the origin period so up to you uh with that one um, any obvious trades to get in JJ or Hastings. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with the squad. I wouldn't be looking to touch it unless, um, yeah, Brownie's in the centers and you want to use him to, to trade out 
to get any of those guys. That would be my suggestion. And with the lower trades, just holding this week is a, is a good one. Show to guns. All right, here you go. Just for you guys. <laughs> no, no singlet on though. Sorry, it's, it's cold in Sydney at the moment. Uh, rank 737, this one. Had a really nice round nine rank. Well done. 21 trades remain, 208 in the bank. Um, oh, I've already used the one. So we've gone Leo Thompson to Hastings. Yeah, that's mad if you can do that, that's sick. Uh, leave me 208, what other trade should I do? Or should I get Thompson to Josh Jackson? No, the Hastings one I think is cool. Uh, went up 800 ranks this week because I sold Man and Curran to Cleary and Cola. Yeah, huge, love that. Uh, anything else I could do, I'll just hold off on trades completely. Uh, but I have four TVs so I wanted to upgrade. Yeah, the first one's great, man, do that. Um, or you could, honestly, yeah, you'd be able to go like, if you want to just go a Moale or a Vitalea, you could go them straight up as well. Obviously leaves you less cash in the bank. Uh, thanks for telling me to hold Teddy. He's been decent the recent few weeks. Yeah, he's a gun, man. Um, they haven't been playing that well, and, and thankfully they, they didn't win on the weekend, but he still did well, so it's going to happen. I like a few pods in this team too with Tamalola. Um, Teddy is a little bit of a pod actually as well with Hastings in there. Team's looking pretty good, man. I, I wouldn't uh, stress too much with this one. Probably just hold the one trade, and yeah, that's the other option. If you didn't want to hold Leo as another potential scorer and some mid cover, then you could do that rather than having um, Davy as a as some mid cover. You could, um, you could roll with that one and keep Leo Thompson and trade out a Davy or a uh, Vitalea for sure. All right, this one here. So ranked 1140, 24 trades remaining. Which players should I look to trade out soon? Uh, <clears throat> so any of the guys that aren't playing in round 13 and you think are not going to be keepers, you could potentially look to move them on over the next bunch of weeks. Uh, guys like Max King, Josh King, I think you could hold over the next bunch. Pretty cool you got Nofaluma in there. That was cheeky. Uh, Brody Jones, definitely have him as a number five emergency. The rest of the starting side's looking really good. You've got Talakai in there as well. There's really not too much to do, like with 24 trades. You could potentially hold this week, I think. And yeah, probably over the next two to three weeks, look to move on a couple of the uh, the mid-range guys and get a few guys that, you know, things will come up over the next few weeks as potential players or cheaper players for Origin uh, in round 13, for example. So. Yeah, just keep an eye on that over the next few weeks and we'll do some videos on that as well. Uh, what's a good amount of players to have for round 13 to maintain ranks or go higher? So anywhere between 12 to 15 is gonna be pretty normal. 12, if you're on the 12 side, you want more guns, right? If you're on the 15 side, you can have a bunch of guns and obviously a few cheapies as well. Uh, so either way, you're obviously looking for points. It's not amount of players, it's more the, the point output. So yeah, just, just have a bit of a um balance it out between the, the guns and the cheapies i think is the best idea for that one but we'll find out again as we get into probably round 10 i'll start uh you know checking out a lot of the teams here and we'll put that on the channel and and see how many uh players they are sitting at uh, sitting with for round 13 and we'll get a bit of an idea of how teams are going to go over that over that period of time <clears throat> squads lacking cover in the hooker and mids position that's yeah i think most of us are with the mids especially if you haven't got properly so he's probably a target over the next bunch is to get him in, but obviously he doesn't play round 13. Uh, yeah, so Haas, I guess we're gonna need to find out more information. I'm not sure if anything's come out today. I've been pretty busy, but um, if something has come out, let me know in this video, or I'll probably find out afterwards. But uh, until we find out definitive information on him, I think we just hold and uh, see what happens. With this current score round 13 coming up in four weeks, of six players playing round 13, which is not enough. Yeah, so any trade that you make from now on should be centered around round 13. If you're sitting in this same position, five, six, seven players currently, then that's where you should be going. All right, this team here, so we're ranked nine, eight, six, seven, got like 70K in the bank. Thank you for not getting the exact for me. <laughs> Trading out coach two rounds ago has been a big mistake. Oh, it's tough, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, yeah, you could have expected a 70 to 10, um, and then, yeah, a 50 to two, but they were playing two average teams. So you gotta remember that with the types of players like Coates, um, the amount of easy finishes that they can have against average teams. So something you learn for next year, for sure. If you've got that type of uh, winger on your side, could go man to Hastings to fill in for my halves. I think that's a pretty good, pretty good idea, man. Hopefully you won't have to make trades over the next uh, week. I've been focused on round 13 a bit over the last couple um, and have made too many max trades. Yeah, I had to make to have had to make max trades, yeah. Understandable. Uh, yeah, probably looking to round 13 would be a good idea. Arthurs and Man, probably for Jackson, potentially Tass if he gets named. I think just the Hastings one could be solid in general, to be fair. Um, Karaz, a must have after round 10, if, if he gets named, yeah, for sure. He could be a good one because he's going to play 13. All right, Gus Delicious. Gus Gould, he loves him. All right. 
Ranked 29, 949. All right, we need to do some work in this team. What do we got? Curdy Man hasn't been doing great. Playing Taft down there is a bit annoying. Do you play him? Do you play Cola? Uh, a few cheapies on the bench, which is not great. Okay, it looks like we've kind of missed out on a bunch of the cash cows to start the year. Unfortunately, we don't have, and we do have 308K in the bank, which is ideal. All right, which trade's better? Man to IPAPS, Hetherington to Will Smith, or Man to Lolo or Cotter, Hetherington to Hastings? Oh, that second one's cool. You need you need a couple extra guns, man. So I'd be going, I'd be getting the two guns rather than going just for the one. As, as important as IPAPS is, I think um, you know, getting a guy that's going to be playing round 13 in Lola or Cotter and getting Hastings is going to be pretty important. Um, King and Snyder. I think Snyder would definitely hold until 13. King could be somewhere around that point as well. Um, yeah, if we find out Hass is out for a while, then I think he's going to be a trade out for sure. But we'll get to that when I find out more information. Chips with butter, another good name. 26.53 overall rank, no idea where to go from here really. Okay, if you're not sure where to go, your probably ideal uh, decision to make is to hold, to be fair. I look at that team straight away and there's only really, you know, Jeremiah, which you could potentially trade out, but they, you know, they're gonna play around 13, so you could be a hold as well. Brian Savanga for man last week, would a reverse. Yeah, like the 39 is pretty low for him. He will have a better game, so don't worry about him. I wouldn't, you've suggested to potentially trade him out. I wouldn't do that personally. Hold on to him, you brought him in for a reason. Yeah, 39's not the worst, but he's going to do better than that. All right, go the Warriors. 6-2-1-3 overall rank. Really nice round nine rank at 502. So well done. Happy with my team. Looking uh, to set my team up for Origin a little better. For sure. That's a good idea. Looking to bring in uh, mid, such as IPAPS, Jackson, McInnes. But I feel like Jackson could be the best option. I was going to do a straight switch with the likes of Randall Thoughts. Yeah, that'd be cool, man. If you can do that and he gets named in 13 and we think he's going to get the big minutes again, then, then that'll be fine. Hopefully we hear something out of um, out of his mouth to say that he's you know feeling good, feeling fit, and he'll be back playing big minutes before we pull that trigger, unless you know waiting a week could be an ideal option as well. I'm also looking to get a half, uh, and my options are Hastings and D Walker. I think Hastings is a good option this week. Looks like, you know, as I said, he's got his team to himself. He... Yeah, they're playing a lot better as well, so that could be a good idea. Going forward, uh, we'll need to trade someone out, and not too sure who, either of the Kings, Tungo, thoughts on who I should trade out. Ooh, that makes it hard. I probably wouldn't trade any of them out at the moment, but who would you trade? If you had two out of those three, probably Josh King, but do you have mid cover? You do not. So maybe not Josh King. Yeah. Probably wouldn't trade any of them, to be fair, to get Hastings. I think you can just deal with, like Schneider's been doing really well anyway, and you have you have some cover with Taff if you need to, for example. Or Nico Hines, from, for example. You could pop Nico up there as well. Um, up to you on that one. So that's that. Um, I wouldn't see anything else needs improving at this moment. You're pretty similar to most people. Hopefully Burton can continue to score well for you. So there you go. All right, Little Brown Toe. 19074 for the overall rank. 19 trades, 233 in the bank. Hey, Jamie, love uh, love the videos. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much. My only worry is how has an injury, which I'm not sure for how long. Yeah, let's just find out what happens. Um, and if he's out for a while, he's you know potentially going to be out of origin as well, so he could be a trade out. Thoughts on my team don't have any trades left, so I'm trying to lay low from now on. I think that's a good idea. The Elliott you know, trade-in, I imagine, is what you've done. Jack Bird for Adam Elliott. Nah, just leave the second trade, I'd say. Yeah, you got Tamari Martin. You'll have to do a little bit better this week. Just a few things on the emergencies you'll have to sort out eventually, but I'd, yeah, there's no real point now, I don't think. Um, unless you... No, no, you don't have enough. Yeah, Bird down to Elliot gets you all that salary. Chris Randall for Lolo, and I still have 120k in the bank. Could potentially do that, but if Randall is continuing to get 80 minutes... Yeah, it's probably just worth the hold this week, my man. Um, yeah, the emergencies is the biggest worry rather than trading out guys like Randall who, who just hit 50. All right, potential trade brainstorm for Miranda Park, Marcus Browns. All right, in Talakai, uh, Crichton, slash Schneider. In? What do you mean out? In Talakai, out Cleary? <laughs> or is that in Talakai and Cleary? How do you do that? I'm lost here. Cleary in a follow, or you bring it, okay. I think outs, <laughs> I've lost. Outs for Crichton and Snyder. In Crichton, Randall, out Robson, Moses. Okay, I'm lost now. <laughs> Need Cleary to get rid of Hughes, Taff, Crichton, May. Better mid to make money around 13 players. Don't we all need it? Um, okay, let's just go with who would I trade out in this squad. Campbell Graham's gun. Spencer's in there. There's not much to do, man. I don't know. 
What can you do? What can you do? He really stuffed this up for me. I can't really work this out. In Hughes, he's already in your team. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm going to move on from this one. <laughs> Wasting time on the video. All right, 6239 overall rank. I have 22 trades. They've had a really good score this week. So, thinking of holding. Cool. So, what do we got? Cotter, awesome. Munster, yeah, nice. Ted, awesome. How good's that? There you go. Taff, yeah, team's pretty good, man. Um, how many trades have you got? Uh, 22. Hastings, should I trade out Mayo? Yeah, don't trade any of them for Hastings. Like, he's had some awesome games, but not worth it. May's a hold. Oh, if he doesn't get named this week, potentially not. Um, if he doesn't get named, you could potentially trade him to Hastings. That's solid. Uh, Jamie, need to start bringing around 13 plays. Have a few options. 549 here. We've got option one, Heather to Elliot. Solid. Heather is definitely a trade out for sure. He just hasn't been good enough. If Hass is out, Hess, Hass and Hetho to Lolo and Elliot. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. Brown, if named to centers and Hetho to Lolo and Elliot. Yeah, you, you've got to sort it, mate. You're doing really well. 549 rank. I'm loving that. Um, just a few improvements there you can make and 23 trades isn't too bad at all. All right. Overall rank 56. Yeah, I love this. Uh, any advice? What would you do, Jamie? All right. What would I do? To give, to give Brown the boot and go him and Randall to Lolo and Hastings. That sounds pretty cool if he's in centers for sure. Dropped a few ranks, but still in the top 100, so obviously still really happy. Yeah, awesome, man. Uh, possible trade outs Schneider, King, Randall, Brown, Krita, and Tungle. Kill. Cool. Possible trade targets. Yeah, we've got all those guys. All right, what would I do? 23 trades in the bank. I think the Brown, if he's a center again, you could you want to stay as close to this top 50 as possible. So if he's at center again, I'd be looking to move him on and do what you said originally there um, and give him, you know, you could either go him straight to one of those guys, or you could do him and Randall to the Lolo Hastings. I don't mind that at all. Uh, let's just wait till team list, and I think you, you're on the right track on that one. Yeah, everyone else is cool. You got Burton in there. Sweet. You haven't really got any, um, you know, apart from Davy, that's kind of warming the bench and not doing too well. I'm happy with that. All right, Aviv, 5360, four to go, guys. Was in top 1,000 for the first six rounds and dropped how to gain my ranks back. Okay, so 5-3 at uh, 5 yeah, 5360. You're obviously not too far off the out of the pack, right? You got 24 trades remaining. That's pretty solid. 145k in the bank. You got guys like Cam Murray, Cam Murray that are dominating. Hetherington's obviously a big issue at the moment, so he probably needs to be moved on. And you have a bit of cash to to move up. And you know, which are holds and trades. I think the majority of these guys in your starting team are hold. Has to play. We're not exactly sure. Um, either Leo or Max to trade up. Okay, you could do that. Um, but who do you go down to? That's the question. Do you have Cola yet? Yeah, you can maybe downgrade like a Leo to, to, to Cola and go up to like Hastings, for example. What to do trades? Think of getting Josh Jackson, Angus Crichton, one of the Tigers halves, Lolo and a cheapy Tass. Well, Tass, we're not sure if he's going to continue getting that, that spot, but he did play really well. So if he does, I think he's definitely a solid option, which we'll speak about uh, following the team list, that's for sure. Uh, but... Yeah, there are definitely some options there. You could go down to the TAS or the Cola, for example, and upgrade uh, yeah, the one we just spoke about with, with Hetherington. You got that little bit extra cash in the bank that you could go up to those guys, which would be cool. Uh, that's probably all I'd do in this side. This side is looking pretty solid. And you can definitely get back, man. Don't worry too much. Um, felt your ass. 192 overall rank. So I get Jackson this week. Randall to Jackson. You could do that if you like. You could also hold Randall. Um, this has to trade. If he's, yeah, if he's injured for a bunch of weeks, then yes. If not, it's fine. Is Critter a trade? Who too? Just hold Critter. It's fine. Don't need a bit of half over Schneider. It's his first bad game, guys. Just don't react like that. Um, yeah, it, it just nothing really went his way. Usually making 30 tackles that didn't happen. Plenty um, plenty got on there. I think the majority, you know, this team here could, could hold steady, man. Your, your team's looking good. 192 ranked. May as well save a few of those and try and dominate round 13. All right, two to go. 11.20, I don't think I have any immediate trade-outs here. Pending house news, what are your thoughts on him? Yeah, we'll find out a little bit further uh, with team lists and everything like that. Would you do anything to this team? Happy with Burton, everything in there. All the rest is looking solid. Just, yeah, those cheapy guys, the Shillers, the Moales, uh, and the Cola, a little bit annoying. Obviously, Cola needs to make a bit of cash. Other than that, team's looking solid, man. I'd, I'd try and hold this week if you can. Uh, unless something pops up, you've got that extra 127, so you could use that or potentially use it next week. Last one. So the main focus here is head-to-head, -head, so not too stressed about overall rank. Sitting eighth in head-to-head, -head, facing top three teams next three rounds. So you make the top eight by round 20. Yeah, cool. Obviously, you'd like to win a couple of these matches, though. Pretty important. Um, 22 trades left, 428k in the bank. I'd probably use one trade at least to get one of these guys and... 
uh, I've been setting a team to get clear, but if I should wait till after Origin and get some bargains like these instead, well, I suppose you can make a couple of trades. You've got DCE in there, so you could go like, you can go Jackson and, and Teddy or Jackson McInnes, these subs of guys, Angus, whatever you want there. Um, I just, I would prefer if you, looks like, yeah, if you could have one or two of these guys more making money would be ideal, but just wait for a cheapie to come up for there. If you trade Randall straight to Cleary, that's pretty ideal, to be fair. I reckon you stick with that, man. If you go Randall, Randall straight to Cleary, you've got him for the rest of the season. You don't have to worry about it. You've got a nice captaincy option uh, now that Haas is down. So I think that's probably the easiest one, man. All right, that's that video, guys. I hope you, you know, there's a lot of different types of teams in there and, and you know, plenty of learning in there. I hope you got a lot out of it. If you are new, subscribe, like this channel. I really appreciate it so much. Uh, thanks for all being here. And if you stayed all the way to the end, you get the, you know, the, the knowledge, obviously, that I am heading overseas for the next three weeks and I'm going to be having a different background at all times. So... Thank you everyone for staying all the way to the end. Let me know if you caught that and uh, we'll catch you in the next video. See you guys.